Uh, you know, the way I, I would uh, really summarize the, the biggest change is that uh, as a result of the really state of global competition, the absence of walls, average is over now. Uh, I think that's the biggest socioeconomic uh, change that our society has been hit by in the last decade or so. What I mean by that is that um, every boss today, he or she has access to above average automation, above average uh, software, above average robotics, above average cheap labor, and now even above average cheap genius. Of what does it take to build a system that actually produces a routinely high quality and equitable educational experience for young people and produces the kinds of learners who are ready for the 21st century, who are uh, critical thinkers, problem solvers, empowered in their own learning. And what we found in many studies is that the choices they make uh, have uh, very serious connections uh, to uh, how their lives uh, work out in the sense that kids who are able to self-regulate to delay gratification by the time they're four or five or six years old have a much better chance of doing well at school, have a much better chance of thriving as adolescents and moving on in life. Putting in certain phrases like not yet or yet can really boost students' motivation. So if a student says, I'm not a math person yet, I can't do this yet. And it means that with your guidance, they will continue on their learning trajectory and get there eventually. It puts their fixed mindset statement into a growth mindset context of learning over time. Uh, as a society, we do not really value relationships. <clears throat> we talk about it but we don't really value or see or understand the importance of relationships. Well, it's like when we prepare kids to be strong, feisty, sometimes difficult citizens that democracy requires. And that um, means you have to uh, not only uh, allow arguments, but you have to actually encourage arguments and you have to encourage strong passions and feelings. and and you want them from the adults as well as the young people. You want young people to see adults who have strong and passionate interests in the world and how they work together to build a strong community. Groups of children left unsupervised with an internet connection can actually learn anything by themselves. I was just some random 13-year-old kid who didn't know what pancreas was. It doesn't matter what your age is, gender is, or where you come from, it's just your ideas that count. And so think, if a 13-year-old who didn't know what pancreas was could find a new way to attack pancreatic cancer, just imagine what you could do. And the particular angle that we have had, which is very different than most, is to look at education as a problem of learning, where a great deal of learning happens through discovery, not through being told. I think, uh kind of very plausibly that the uh, core uh, principle and uh, requirement of a fulfilled uh, human being is uh, the ability to inquire and create uh, constructively, independently, uh, without external controls uh, to move to a modern counterpart, uh, a leading physicist, uh, who taught right here, uh, used to tell his classes that it's not important what we cover in the class, it's important what you discover.